The AK party strategy in Diyarbakir is riding on the party's ability to outdo the HDP. It's led by Mehmet Mehdi Eker, who says he's basing his party's chances on developing the Kurdish areas. It is a symbol of a pluralistic approach, historically. It is a symbol city of our civilizational perception, Islamic civilization. And it is a symbol of integrity and unity throughout the history. We have Kurds, we have Turkmen's, we have Assyrians, we have Armenians, we have so many different ethnic origins, and in the real sense of pluralistic definition, we have really experienced all of this in this beautiful city of Diyarbakir. The AK Party has been instrumental. The reforms that the AK Party initiated, part of the peace process in 2013, moving forward, even though it didn't last more than two years, it collapsed in 2015. The AK Party... It was not collapsed by us. It was provocated by PKK and, of course, some intelligence services. This is part of the record and this is what the AK Party says as well, but the AK Party has been responsible for ushering in reforms that eventually led the HTP to reach Parliament, cross the 10% threshold. What is the way forward? Can we see the AK Party re-engage if it reaches Parliament? These are crucial ele elections. I guess the question is, how critical are these elections for peace in the Kurdish areas of Turkey? We, unlike some European countries or any other Kurds living in other in any other countries unlike them we are individually integrated you know we have we have our residence in any part of Turkey as a Kurd myself as an you know native speaker of Kurdish language, born and grown in the city of Diyarbakir. We integrated with the, our you know, Turkish uh, brothers and sisters. But a lot of people problems. don't feel like this. The, the problem is, the problem is, with the, with the PKK and with his, the terrorist attacks and the approach and even the their analysis of the history that is the problem so each time when we try to take a step forward unfortunately the atmosphere was either poisoned or sabotaged or provocated by the pkk by the PKK, of course. What Whenever, is the way forward? What is the way forward? The way, the way forward is to neutralize the, as a terrorist organization and terrorist activities, to neutralize the, you know, their effect, and then, and then those who have any legitimate idea and opinion, whatever it is, whatever it is, they can openly and freely discuss okay, and bring to the agenda of the Turkey. What are your chances, finally? What are your chances in the Arbakr this time? Are you hopeful? Yes, we are. You we think are you've hopeful. done enough? Uh, well, we, uh, we, know, we know what we have done for the city and we sure and again we know and determine what will we we will do for the future and uh, we know uh, how to tell this to these people and people knows now they are you know uh, differentiate between you know the destroyers 
and the builders and constructors. Mehmet Mediyakar. Thank you so much. Thank you.